Hi all, welcome to Civilians class. Myself Gokul and today we are going to discuss about characteristics of sewage. Characteristics of sewage. Before treatment of sewage, we have to know its characteristics and based on that, and based on that characteristic, a treatment method is adopted. What is sewage actually? It means uh, liquid waste originating from a society. Sewage means liquid waste originating from a society. And what is its composition? What is the composition of sewage? It consists of, sewage consists of 99.9 percentage water and 0.1 percentage solids. This is a previous question actually. What is the moisture content of sewage? 99.9 percentage and rest is solids. And these 0.1 percentage solids undergo some changes with passage of time, which is called which is called a decomposition, which is called a decomposition or we can use the term stabilization, stabilization or uh, we can use uh, degradation. This 0.1 percentage solids undergoes decomposition after some time. Actually decomposition means it includes oxidation and reduction, right? Technically, we can say decomposition means oxidation plus reduction. And uh, what is oxidation? What is oxidation? Oxidation means, oxidation means aerobic decomposition. Aerobic decomposition. What is aerobic decomposition? Aerobic decomposition means decomposition in the presence of oxygen. Decomposition in the presence of oxygen. And what are the byproducts of aerobic decomposition? Aerobic decomposition byproducts. They are uh, carbon dioxide carbon dioxide then uh, nitrates will be formed, phosphates, sulfates, these are all byproducts of uh, aerobic decomposition. Actually this is a very fast process, aerobic decomposition is a very fast product process and uh, we will get more stable byproducts but a disadvantage or uh, or a drawback is that large amount of sludge will be formed. Large amount of sludge formation is a major drawback of this aerobic decomposition. And uh, then we can move to reduction. Reduction. Reduction actually it means a uh, anaerobic decomposition right anaerobic decomposition anaerobic decomposition what is anaerobic decomposition decomposition in the absence of oxygen decomposition takes place in the absence of oxygen and uh, what will be its byproducts byproduct of uh, anaerobic decomposition major byproducts are carbon dioxide will be formed then uh, methane methane hydrogen sulfide etc it is uh, much more uh, complicated than aerobic process actually and much slower when compared to aerobic decomposition to find the nuisance potential of sewage both physical characteristics and chemical characteristics are observed. First, we will discuss about physical characteristics of 
sewage. First, we will discuss about physical characteristics of uh, sewage. What is included in physical characteristics? It includes uh, color, then what? Then order, temperature, and uh, turbidity. You have to remember one thing while studying physical characteristic. Physical characteristic is different for uh, fresh sewage and septic sewage. So, we have to study both uh, characteristics of fresh sewage and septic sewage. Septic sewage means old sewage. Okay. So, we have to find. So, we have to study the characteristics of fresh sewage and septic sewage or a stale sewage. Okay. First, we will discuss about color. What will be the color of fresh sewage? We can say fresh sewage will have a grayish color, lighter shade color and when it becomes stale, its color changes to a darker shade or blackish color. Then second characteristic order. Fresh sewage will have a musty order and after some time its order changes to foul, foul order. Temperature, fresh sewage will have a temperature around uh, 30 degrees Celsius and temperature will be increased when it becomes uh, stale due to some microbial action. So, it will have a temperature more than 30 degree Celsius and turbidity. Fresh sewage is less turbid when compared to septic sewage. So, these are the physical characteristics of sewage. Next, we will discuss about chemical characteristics. Chemical characteristics. First, pH. What will be the pH range of uh, fresh sewage and uh, septic sewage? For a uh, fresh sewage, for fresh sewage, pH will be always alkaline. pH will be always alkaline for a uh, fresh sewage, and when it becomes septic pH changes to acidic. This was uh, asked many times for uh, various exams. What, do, what is the pH for uh, fresh sewage and uh, septic sewage? Next, we will discuss about organic content. Organic content in sewage. Organic content in sewage. What is organic content? It uh, includes uh, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, lipids, sugar, etc. present in wastewater. Organic content includes carbohydrates, fats, proteins, sugar, lipids, etc. You have to remember one thing. There is no straightforward test to determine organic content. There is no straightforward test. But we can use an indirect method to find the organic content. This organic content decomposes after some time. That we all know, right? So, decomposition means oxidation and reduction. We already discussed about that. That means it needs oxygen. It is an oxygen consuming process. So, the amount of oxygen consumed for decomposition will be directly proportional to what? The amount of organic content in wastewater. Therefore, various oxygen demand tests are conducted to find organic content in wastewater. Various oxygen demand tests which includes what? BOD, <coughs> COD, 
TOD total oxygen demand then THOD theoretical oxygen demand so various oxygen demand tests are conducted to find organic content in wastewater 